All right, welcome back. Sleep programming skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. Here we're going to focus on what are called repetition statements. This will be the introduction. We'll cover them more uh, later in the course, but this is the first intro. So let's begin like we always do with our initial project. A repetition statement allows you to do things more than once. In fact, if we have an integer result, and if I say the result is equal to 0, 0 is the same as saying false. Okay, so 0, false is 0. Think of if you turn something on or off, if it's off, it's 0. 0 is false. So the repetition statement that we're going to look at is while. So if I say while result, and let's, uh, how about let's do this, we'll say printf press enter to continue. And we'll just say get char. We've used get char in some of the other videos. Notice I'm not storing the character there, I'm just saying get char. So it'll wait for me to enter something. And when we get down here, I'll do a printf and say all done. Now, we can see this while, which means while this is true, execute this code, right? Repetition, execute this code, while this is true. Now, if, it's, if the result is zero, then this is not going to be true, and we shouldn't see this execute at all. In fact, when I click on run, Notice I don't. I just see hello world and all done. But suppose I set it to anything other than zero. So anything other than zero. Well, anything other than zero is true. And typically you just use one, but it can be any value other than zero. Well now, while this is true, while this is true, press enter to continue. Press enter. Press enter to continue. I press enter. Press enter to continue. <laughs> It'll do that forevermore. Right? It'll just keep. In fact, watch this. If I type, um, how about I do A, B, C, and I press enter. Notice how it, one, two, three, because it keeps reading this, right? It kept reading it over and over and going through this while loop. So the while loop allows us to, to just continue to go through here. Now, many times a while loop will have some type of condition. And this result, instead of it always being true or always being false, which I really made up for this demo, typically what you'll really do is say something like this. I could say uh, result is initially true, which gets us into here. And then I could say press enter to continue. But suppose when I read this in, I actually put it into a, a value C. So here I have a variable called C, so I'm going to get that. And suppose I change this to say as long as result does not equal some type of exit condition. So as long as the result does not equal, well, we know from earlier, one of the early videos, if we press the enter key, that actually has, that's the new line character, and it actually has the value of 10. So I'm going to come up here and say pound define. Let's call it new line. Has the value of 10. So as long as result does not equal, now this is something new we've not seen, we're saying while the result does not equal new line. So as long as the result does not equal new line, keep going through this loop. Now think about that. We have a repetition statement, and we also have a condition. We're saying that as long as, this, new, this is new syntax, this 
exclamation equals means not equals. So when I say run, if I just press enter, right, we get this C. And, and you know what? Actually, what I want to put in here, I'm going to change my code, right? I had a programming bug, <laughs> so my logic was incorrect. Maybe you saw that running. I really want to have result equals get char, right? Because each time through, I want to update the value of result. So now let me run it again. I'll do run. If I press enter, notice it just says all done. On the other hand, if I press, say, the letter A and press enter, actually, interesting. So what it's doing, it read through, it read the A, and then it read the, uh, right after the A, it read the, the enter. And so it printed this out, read it, and then exited. it. So watch this. Let, let me do it one more time. Instead, just do I'll say A, B, C. So what it'll do is go read A, B, and C, and then when it gets this last one, that will cause it to exit. So here goes. I'll press Enter. Boom. Notice we got, so it read the A, printed this out, read the B, printed this out, read the C, printed this out, and then we press Enter, and of course, it was then said all done. Maybe to make that a little clearer, we could do this. We could say, once we get the character, let's do a printf. We'll say result percent %i as an integer. So we'll show the result so we can actually see it. And now let's run it. Okay, let me say a, b, c. Press enter. And notice we got a, B and C, and of course we know 10 is the new line character, and that got us out of there. By the way, notice how a good way to learn coding is just like I'm doing, just try different things. Try different conditions, try different ways. The key point here is that we're, we're in this while loop, and, and we're, we're doing something repeatedly until, in this case, you've entered a new line. So this is a, a, just a, another good example. A new skill, um, using a while loop, and actually ha putting the condition inside the while loop. A lot more to come about repetition statements. There's many more ways to do it. But this is a good one to start with. So thanks for making it this far. Making good progress. Still more to come. More in the next videos that follow. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.